No, I, I get the excitement because it's uh, it's a holiday crowd. It's it's Groundhog Day. <laughs> But it is, it's Groundhog Day. And, and you know, this year because the groundhog is brown and it gets pulled from its home, uh, ice is involved. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know Trump, always on the right side of an issue. Uh, he sprang right into action. He told this Rob Porter guy, he said, I want your resignation letter on my makeup table in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> You clean out your Chris Brown CDs and your brass knuckles and get out of here. People will always say, I love to read, but don't dig into that too deep. What they mean is they went to Barnes and Nobles to buy a cat calendar. <laughs> and on the way out, picked up yet another book on cooking in the miracle pot, or a self-help book, or one of the many stories of a boy who dies and meets Jesus in heaven and comes back to life, or some nonsense that's really for juveniles, like Harry Potter or Twilight. I mean, there's reading, and then there's reading. Fifty Shades of Grey is to literature what candy corn is to vegetables. <laughs> Newell, if you send me a text with a typo, you don't have to send another one correcting it. I went to college. I can figure out that you're not running latte. <laughs> because you can't find a place to park your cat. 